Arthur, the big tank engine, loves working on the Norby branch line. He enjoys the fresh sea air and Arthur thinks there is no better place to be. However, the workload on the branch line was getting a lot more busier and he soon felt rushed off his wheels. One day, after packing to Vickerstown Goods Yard, just as Bear was having a drink. Good morning, Arthur. I look tired. I know. My branch line is getting more busier. So much, in fact, that driver is a little worried. soon found out. Excuse me, but is something wrong? Yes indeed, they need another engine to help run the branch line. Maybe we can find one. Later, Bear saw Donald and Douglas. Bear had an idea. You help me find another engine. Where? Where you found Oliver. You mean on the other railway? Yes, I'm looking for another engine to help on Arthur's branch line. And Bear explains everything. I'd like to help, but these days it's only diesels that go there. Then Bear decided. That's where I'll go. Take care. Later, Bear told the driver about the plan. There is a scrapyard in Wales that I have heard about. There's sure to be an engine there. Right. We'll find one tomorrow. It took them all of the next day to travel to the other railway. Darkness fell and a cold wind blew. What's that? It was only the sounds of the loneliest scrapyards. Diesels, silent of steel, lined up on God. Who, Who are, are you? you? Bear plucked up courage. I'm a shed inside in inspection, do you see? Have you any engines in the shed? No! No! no. no. Bear raid again. Then, what about the sidings? Well, there is one that came years ago from the mid road ring. They, they were, supposed were supposed to, to cut, cut him up, up but, but they, they never, never got, got around, around to doing, doing that. that. Bear grew braver still. Then, I'll just go and inspect. A large tank engine stood sad and alone on a shadowy siding. He looked very rusty and overgrown. Excuse me. The engine looked startled. Who are you? I'm Bear. Diesel engine from the North Western Railway in the island of Sodor. Did you say Sodor? I have a brother called Arthur who was sent to work there. Then you're soon going to see him again. I'm getting you out of here. Everyone worked fast. It was difficult to set the fire, but soon it was glowing hot and Barry had a good head of steam. Bear's engineer agreed to be Barry's fireman. So 
go off they set up past a three cut gloomy line of diesels. Where are they go? Is he going? Stone line. And they shuffled quickly away. With dirt up on the border, the back of our own railway, mission accomplished. When their empire arrives at Crowford's gate, the fat controller awaited them. He was very pleased when Bear told him about Barry as he was looking for another engine to help Arthur on his branch line. We shall mend you and give you a new culture page. Barry was sent to the works to be repaired. As he was given a new coat of paint, Arthur came back the side. Barry! I never thought I'd see you again! Hello, Arthur. It's great to see you again, too. So how did you end up here? After I was withdrawn from British Railways, I was sent to Barry's scrapyard in Wales. They were supposed to cut me up, but they didn't get around to doing so. But then Bear found me and brought me to Sodor. Arthur was amazed by Barry's story, and once he was fixed and repainted, he was sent to work on Arthur's branch line. Now Barry is as happy as can be and helps out with passenger trains on his branch line. Barry was pleased with his new life on the island of Sodor and being reunited with his brother, Arthur.